Learning medicine is hard work. Osmosis makes it easy. It takes your lectures and notes to create a personalized study plan with exclusive videos, practice questions, and flashcards, and so much more. Try it free today. Alpha thalassemia is a genetic disorder where there's a deficiency in the production of the alpha globin chains of hemoglobin, which is the oxygen carrying protein in red blood cells. Normally, hemoglobin is made up of four globin chains, each bound to a heme group. There are four major types of globin chains, alpha, beta, gamma, and delta. These four globin chains combine in different ways to give rise to different kinds of hemoglobin. First, there's hemoglobin F, or HBF, where F stands for fetal hemoglobin, and it's made of two alpha globin and two gamma globin chains. Hemoglobin A, or HBA, is the major form of adult hemoglobin, and it's made of two alpha globin and two beta globin chains. Finally, hemoglobin A2, or HBA2, amounts for a small fraction of adult hemoglobin in the blood, and it's made of two alpha globin and two delta globin chains. Alpha chain synthesis is controlled by four alpha genes, two on each copy of chromosome 16. And alpha thalassemia is caused by mutations in the alpha genes, most commonly a gene deletion. The mutations are inherited in an autosomal recessive pattern, which means that you need mutated genes from both parents to get the disease. If a person has one defective alpha gene, they're called a silent carrier, because they don't have symptoms, but they can still pass the gene on to their children. If a person has two defective alpha genes, the person has alpha thalassemia minor, which causes mild symptoms. This can either be caused by a cis deletion, where mutated genes are on the same chromosome, or a trans deletion, when the mutated genes are on two different chromosomes. Cis deletion variants are more prevalent in Asian populations, whereas trans deletion variants are more prevalent in African populations. If there are three defective alpha genes, there's moderate disease, called hemoglobin H, or HBH disease. This is caused by excess beta chains, which clump together within developing red blood cells to form tetramers, or beta-4, and give rise to a form of hemoglobin called hemoglobin H. HBH molecules cause hypoxia in two ways. First, they damage the red blood cell membrane, resulting in intramedullary hemolysis, or red blood cell breakdown in the bone marrow or extravascular hemolysis, when red blood cells are destroyed by macrophages in the spleen. Second, HBH has a very high affinity for oxygen and doesn't release oxygen to the tissues. And a consequence of hypoxia is that it signals the bone marrow, as well as extramedullary tissues like the liver and spleen, to increase production of red blood cells. This can cause the bones that contain bone marrow, as well as the liver and the spleen, to enlarge. Finally, if all four alpha genes are deleted, it results in Hb Bart's hydrops fetalis. The problem here begins during fetal life, where gamma chains form tetramers in the absence of alpha chains, called Hb Bart's gamma 4. And it has super duper high affinity for oxygen, about a hundred times that of normal hemoglobin. So, the tissues get no oxygen, resulting in severe hypoxia. Severe hypoxia leads to high output cardiac failure and massive hepatosplenomegaly, resulting in edema all over the body, called hydrops fetalis. This condition is incompatible with life, and without treatment, the fetus usually dies in utero or soon after birth. The initial symptoms of minor and moderate alpha thalassemia are due to anemia, which include pallor, shortness of breath, and easy fatigability. There can also be skeletal deformities and hepatosplenomegaly. Diagnosis starts with a routine blood test that shows low hemoglobin levels, decreased mean corpuscular volume, or MCV, and low mean corpuscular hemoglobin, or MCH. The peripheral blood smear shows microcytic, or small, and hypochromic, or pale, red blood cells. There are also target cells, which are small red blood cells that look like bullseyes due to scrunching up of excess cell membrane. With moderate alpha thalassemia, there may be golf ball-like red blood cells due to precipitated HBH molecules. 
hemoglobin electrophoresis can be done to see which hemoglobin types are present. For example, HBH will be seen as an extra band ahead of HBA on electrophoresis. Finally, the diagnosis is confirmed by genetic testing to look for hemoglobin gene mutations. This can also be done prenatally by testing fetal DNA obtained through either chorionic villus sampling or amniocentesis. Usually, patients with mild thalassemia don't need treatment, while patients with severe thalassemia are treated with blood transfusions. To prevent iron overload, iron chelating agents can be given to trap some excess iron and sweep it away through feces or urine. When diagnosed prenatally, H.B. Bart's hydrops fetalis can be treated with intrauterine transfusions and later followed up with bone marrow transplantation. All right, as a quick recap, alpha thalassemia is an autosomal recessive disorder caused by deletion of alpha globin genes on chromosome 16. Single gene defect results in a silent carrier state, which is asymptomatic. Two defective genes results in alpha thalassemia minor, which causes mild anemia. Three defective genes causes HBH disease, which causes severe anemia with hepatosplenomegaly. And four defective genes results in HB Bart's hydrops fetalis, which is incompatible with life, and without treatment, the fetus usually dies in utero or soon after birth. Thanks for watching. If you're interested in a deeper dive on this topic, Take a look at osmosis.org where we have flashcards, questions, and other awesome tools to help you learn medicine.